Spitalfields is a parish in the east end of London. In medieval times, there was a monastery with a hospital located in the area. In those times, a hospital was called Spittal, which is where the name Spitalfields comes from. The area of Spitalfields is characterised by three major waves of immigration that occurred over the centuries. The first to come were Protestants from France, who suffered religious persecution by their Catholic king, Louis XIV, in the late 17th century. These Protestants were called Huguenots, and they brought valuable skills to England, working in many different professions. Many of the Huguenots who settled in Spitalfields were silk weavers. They were very good craftsmen and women, and they prospered, building new houses, many of which still exist today. You can tell the immigrants' French origin by some of the street names. For example, Fournier Street, called after the Huguenot Georges Fournier. One silk weaver and designer even gained international fame. Her name was Anna Maria Garthwaite, and the house she lived and worked in still stands in Princelet Street. A blue plaque on the wall reminds us of her. This is one of her many patterns she created, and this another one, worked into the fabric of a dress. In the 1760s, which is less than a hundred years after the Huguenot silk weavers first arrived, they faced serious economic problems. There were three reasons for this. Cheaper silk fabrics could be imported from France, cheaper cotton fabrics came from India, and Irish immigrants arrived who also worked as weavers. At first, the established silk weavers rebelled against their misfortune, but gradually they started moving away from the city. Of those who stayed, many sublet parts of their houses to earn some money, but that was not enough to stop the decline of the area. The next wave of immigration occurred between 1881 and 1914. Russian and Eastern European Jews fled extreme poverty and increasing persecution in their homelands. Many of them had intended to go to America but stayed in Britain. They were poor but they helped each other. There was a temporary shelter for new arrivals, a soup kitchen and a Jewish free school in the area. Eventually the Jews improved their economic situation through working hard and providing their children with a good education. As they became wealthier, they gradually left Spitalfields and moved to more desirable areas. The third wave of immigration started in the middle of the 20th century when the Indian subcontinent was divided into India and Pakistan, but immigration peaked after 1971. In 1971, Bangladesh split away from Pakistan and people fled the violence this separation caused. There were strong historic ties between the countries of the Indian subcontinent and Britain, so many refugees came to Britain. The east end of London, with its cheaper rents, attracted many of them. Today, there are so many Bangladeshi people living in Spitalfields that its central area is called Bangla Town. Brick Lane is a street in the centre of Bangla Town. It is famous for its curry restaurants. One building in Spitalfields represents, like no other, the coming and going of immigrants since the 17th century. The mosque at the corner of Brick Lane and Fournier Street. Its minaret was only added in 2009. The building was not always a mosque though. During the time when a large proportion of people in the area were Jews, it was a synagogue. However, the building was constructed in the 18th century as a Huguenot church.